Sneakerheads and basketball enthusiasts alike, this is the only lane, and we are back to do a quick unboxing of this box. It's actually a pair. Um, before I get into that, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, and if you like what you've seen before or you like what you see today, um, I believe this is highly anticipated. Oh, and excuse my really dry hands. Um, I just came from the gym and I don't plan on putting lotion on right now. I'm about to go take a shower actually. But um, I believe this is highly anticipated, uh, surprisingly. I didn't think a lot of people would want these, but when they first dropped, they sold out just like instantly. And I was kind of pissed off because I didn't expect anybody to want them. Um, do not accept the seal is broken. Yeah, this is a new box also by the way. Uh, this came from Nike and I'm very surprised by this box. I've never seen a Nike box like this before. Ooh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, so let me open it like this. This is nice, actually. This is really nice. The the box is nice outside of the actual box itself. So I open it right there. You see, it says Nike by, and that is my name there. And then it says women's size 13, men's 11 and a half. And it does actually not say the sneaker's name, um, because it is a Nike by you. Uh, Wow, I never even thought about the fact that I'm not going to get a real box because I got a Nike by you. Um, but maybe I might get more colors, colors of this. Um, actually, I might get another Nike by you, but we'll get into that. Let me open this bad boy. They messed up my uh, my little tab here. I'll have to fix that. Um, the paper in here says... I've never gotten a Nike by you, by the way, also. This is my first one. It says Nike and... Is, is the box going to come out? I hate... Sometimes I hate these boxes. Nike and the swoosh are trademarks and your guarantee of quality. One of one, they're definitely not one of one, I'll tell you that. Oh brother, there's the receipt in here, but it's these. These are the Sabrina Ones and this is the Bodega colorway. So now for those who don't know, if you're asking me, what is the Bodega colorway? Like I haven't seen this colorway, where did this come from? Um, the Bodega colorway is a colorway that was made by um, Fomer Simpson. So if you know who Fom if you watch Sneaker YouTube, you know who Fomer Simpson is. If you don't, I'll just give you a quick synopsis. He's been doing YouTube with him and his brother for years, right? He was one of the first people that I watched when I first started watching Sneaker YouTube. Um, along with like a couple other names that if I say, <laughs> I don't think a lot of people are going to know. Zaya, Dubstep, um, King Genius, I guess, was a little bit later. Uh, Nightwing, obviously, he's been, been around for a while. But those are like the main people that I watched. Um, oh, Just, Just, I forgot what the numbers were, but you know know who that is along with Zaya as well. Um, and Nike gave, I believe it was... Two creators, one was, uh, one of them was a girl, and then one was like an artist as well. So four in total, and one of them was Tony, I believe his last name is Mew, I believe you pronounce it Mew. Um, he was, uh, I believe an editor. I know he worked in like the sneaker, um, sneaker world, I just don't remember exactly what he does, but he's on, uh, he's on Instagram, he's on YouTube, go and follow his content, it's really great. He's actually the other pair of sneakers. Um, that I want to cop because they gave you a second chance to go back and vote. But let me, I'll, I'll get into that. So essentially what Nike did was they, um, they put out the, the colorways. They put out like a little synopsis of what, where the colorways came from. Um, I guess written by the creators. And then they said, go in the comments and vote. Like put the, ha I think it was hashtag creator, whatever number. And if they get enough votes, you'll be able to choose the colorway. Bro, everyone voted and they let you just choose whatever colorway. I, be I believe they let you choose whatever colorway because when I went through it, I had the option to choose all of them and I selected this one anyways. But um, then they doubled back. So about a week ago, they doubled back and they're, they are allowing everybody to vote again, wh which I'm, I'm hoping means that they're going to allow us to, to choose another colorway and I really do want to support Tony. Um, I wasn't going to go back and buy that and then I had some financial thing come up and I couldn't buy it right away after I bought these. So I'm hoping I can go back and do that as well and support him as well because why not support another creator i think that's really dope i might actually buy the woman the artist's um the artist color as well so i might have three nike by you <laughs> colors of the sabrinas and haven't even put one on yet but um the bodega colorway uh foamer is originally from new york um if you guys know about new york we have a lot of bodegas um that's one of that's like that's like a new york staple right the corner store is just always going to be there 
you got your bacon, egg, and cheese, whatever, whatever, whatever your whatever your thing is, right? Bacon, egg, and cheese, uh, chopped cheese, um, what, whatever you go in there and you cut from the corner from the op, um, that's what you do. Where these colors came from, um, I don't remember what they said on that. Let me let me go back because the video is still up. Mr. Former Simpson, and this is my sneaker. Straight when Nike reached out for the opportunity to design a colorway for Sabrina, I wanted to keep it true to my roots. Growing up in New York City, one of the things I appreciated most was the bodega in my neighborhood. The yellow, the red, the green. That storefront lit up like a beacon that let you know you were home. So no matter where I am, it's New York forever. I feel you. Okay, I feel what you're saying. If, you, if you've been in a bodega, those are like staple colors, right? The bodegas usually have some type of green, some, uh, it's like like a green, yellow, and red sign. I will just get you guys a picture of a bodega. Honestly, I might go to the hood this weekend. Uh, I might have my, my, my sister-in-law go take a picture of one for me because I, I don't live out there anymore. Um, I do live in New York, but I don't live in the hood anymore. Um, but I might go get y'all a picture just so y'all understand where the color blend works. Um, I do get the outsole. The I don't believe the outsole is um, is is part of that bodega thing. I think that's part of just like the grime in New York. Um, and also the uh, what do you call this outsole? Uh, the color I forgot what they call it. Um, that's just like very popular in New York, right? Um, people love that type of outsole. But that's that's the 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 stuff on the color colorway. It does say born. And then it says bodega, so you get the gist right there, right? Born in a bodega, right? That's just part of part of that New York New York culture, like I said. Um, so you guys can see the colors. I don't think there's much to go into when it comes to the colors. Uh, I do want to go a little bit into the uh, uh, the actual model, right? This is the Sabrina one. <laughs> I haven't talked about Sabrina at all. Um, Sabrina Onescu is a uh, WNBA player. She plays on the New York Liberty. They are actually in the NBA Finals right now. It would be great for them to win. They're down one. They're down one zero right now, but let's see if they can turn around. Um, and she has a uh, performance sneaker. Like they gave her a sneaker. Um, I, to me, it was really surprising because I feel like there are better players in the NBA, uh, WNBA, but she's got a she's got a great personality. She's very easy to market to me. Very easy to market. So I I, I see it, right? I see I see the vision. Um, I did actually cop um, Nike's other women's sneaker um, the other day uh, that dropped last year, and I meant to put out a video for these, and I never did it. Um, I wanted to do a quick performance review, like very quick. Like I'm not putting in 24 hours. I might play in these like two three times and call it a day on these because. They're not, they're one, they're not coming out with a two. They're, they only did one model. And I, you can't, I mean, you can find these. I found these in the outlet, but it's gonna, it's gonna start slimming down. So these are the Air, uh, Nike, I believe it's Air Deladon ones. Um, I can go into that if you guys want to. Um, leave, leave a message in the comments. I'll go and I'll do a performance review for you guys if you want. But if not, maybe I won't. I don't know, we'll see. I got a lot of shoes I gotta get to. Um, it's, it's getting busy, right? Sneakers are dropping left and right, but um, in here we have uh, Nike React for the for the cushioning. Uh, I believe there is a Nike Zoom unit in the forefoot. Let me just double check on that. Full length Nike React cushioning and top loaded Nike Zoom Air unit in the forefoot. Yes, I was correct there. Um, you got a, a stabilizing shank at the midfoot that helps players stay, stay balanced. A midfoot band system and lockdown cables help the foot stay secure over the footbed. Let me tell you, bro, these shoes are really popular and I don't, not that I don't see it because I get it, right? But the model just looks very basic to me. Um, React, it's, it's nice. I'm not gonna lie to you. React is nice, but it's not like a full length air in there, right? So there's not a bunch of, uh, technology in this but people are gravitating to these a lot every post that i've seen about the colorways people have gone and checked out and they love them um i have my little cousin he's playing uh, um i don't really want to put his information out there <laughs> too much but he plays like high level basketball in uh, um in high school right now and he wants he wants to pay these right when he i think it just came up randomly that he just was like oh i want to get a pair of those I was like, yo, that's crazy that I just would never figure that anyone would would want to get a woman's sneaker based on like the perception that people have about women's basketball. Why? I don't know. But that's 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 it. But these are these to me right now, 
seemed like one of the most popular basketball sneakers since Kyrie. And I think when the NBA season starts, we're going to see a lot of people in these. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited. I know that I wanted when I saw the news on these, I really wanted these. I really wanted these. I don't know about everybody else. Uh, there's a lot of... Man, there's a lot. Of, I know I'm busted everywhere, but there's a lot of nice colorways. Um, I'm going to do a short on all the colorways that have come out so far. Um, there's a lot of nice colorways that I've seen so far. A lot. Um, this is like... I don't want to say it's a new Kyrie, but... Hey, it's not, but it is, if you know what I'm saying. These colorways are really nice. The upper, supposedly, that is uh, inspired by the architecture from her country. I forgot what country she's from. Um, does it say it? National Heritage? Romanian. Yeah, she's a Romanian. So uh, it says the intricate embroidered pattern on the Sabrina 1 forefoot and eye stays. Pay homage to traditional Romanian art and architecture. Um, yeah, so like this, these little dots do have here. Um, I believe that's part of that architecture. Um, I did study architecture in school, so I can back that up, right? Um, it says the shoe's design is highlighted by a dotted eye that wraps around the top and bottom outsole of the shoe. Oh, the shoe. I truly have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> I have no clue where that could be. Um, it says a detail that pays respect to her last name. Um, on the medial swoosh side of the shoe, a vertical slanted swoosh represents the barriers that UNESCO has broken throughout her career and a hidden anyone anywhere quote serves as reference to UNESCO's unmatched competitive spirit as well as her belief that dreamers can come from anywhere so there's the vertical swoosh right there on the media portion there and then what was the other one it says the hidden quote let's see if I can find the hidden quote because they didn't tell you where it's at um oh it's uh it's inside this little like this little layer right here I'll actually show you guys images of that as well um that's dope that's really dope. Oh, and those like little dots are actually in the uh, the vertical switches as well. Uh, that there's nothing else to really talk about when it comes to technology or really, really about the shoe. Um, I will say this logo. There is a fire emblem on the back. I don't know what the fire emblem is for. You see her signature on the back as well. Um, I will have to do research on that because they haven't really talked about that. I don't know if that's on every pair or if that's just for this bodega one. But the uh, um, oh, is that the eye? Bro, that's the eye. Look at me, bro. That's an eye, and there's a little dotted eye. <laughs> Yo, bro, come on. It said the outsole. It didn't say anything about the heel. Hold on. What's it say there? Um, the shoe is highlighted by a dotted eye that wraps around the top and bottom outsole of the shoe. The wraparound detail ends in a dotted eye on the... The wraparound detail ends in a dotted eye on the heel. That just tells you that I wasn't reading. A detail that was pays respect to her last name, UNESCO. Um, all right, cool. That was dope. Uh, but back to the logo, right? Her logo is that S right there for obviously her name. This, I'm not going to lie, threw me for a little bit of a loop, right? This S reminds me of, and I can't remember, It's there was a sneaker like blog that used a very similar logo to that. I don't remember if it was Sneaker Freaker. It was something like that um, a couple years ago. Uh, sneaker blogs that start with S. Oh, that's it right there. What is that? What is that logo? Not kicks on fire. Soul Collector. Okay, if you guys have seen Soul Collector, the Soul Collector logo, and I'll put it up. Um, Soul Collector has a very similar logo. And the first time I saw it, I was like, hold on. Are they biting the logo off Soul Collector? And how is Soul Collector not... Like, how are they not trying to do anything about this? Um, does Soul Collector even still exist? I don't really read blogs unless they're giving me news about, like, um... Unless they're giving me news about, uh, uh, like, sneakers. I think Soul Collector folded. What happened to Soul Collector? In 2013, Soul Collector was purchased by Complex Media, now Complex Networks, adding the magazine and website to its roster of owned and operated brands. So Soul Collector really doesn't exist. It's part of Complex. That's interesting. I never ever would have guessed that. That's why I haven't seen them around. And I just never even read I never even thought about it until I saw that logo. I saw that logo and I was like, hold up. Whatever happened to that brand? And it was Soul Collector. Interesting. Hey man, we are going to multiple folds of sneaker culture right here. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed like my little trip down memory lane. Um, the YouTubers and the Soul Collector. And if you Watched YouTube for around, you've been around, 
uh, if you've watched YouTube for a while, sneaker YouTube that is, and been around for a while, then you you know a little bit of what I was talking about. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor, the like button, subscribe button if you like what you see before, or you like what you saw today. Um, this is the only land app out here. You guys have a great one.